<laughs> oh gosh, I noticed this guy was just sitting here and eating food right next to the bathroom. What a weird guy. Hi everybody, this is Milky. Welcome back to another first impression video. The game we're playing today is called Arcade Tycoon. It's an interesting tycoon game that allows us to build and manage our own arcade shop. I've been looking forward to play Arcade Tycoon for a while now because it just sounds super fun. And it was on my list of top 5 games for... August. It was just released into early access today, so let's try it out together and see how fun it is. Well, unfortunately, the game doesn't have a campaign mode built in yet. I think it will be released soon. So right now, we can usually start with the tutorial and then go to the sandbox mode. I already went through the tutorial, so let's start as the sandbox mode and build our arcade from the ground up. Oh, look at that. That's our new arcade. And then it seems like we can buy extra lands if we need it. So the first thing we need to do is get a token machine. So jump, jump. And uh, the controls are very fair. Really nice and easy. All I need to do is just build a token machine and turn it on. Now people can spend their sweet money onto our, in our arcade. Then the next thing we need to do is buy some arcade machine for them. There's a uh, there's different type arcade machine and uh, oh, some of their reliability are t terrible. Oh, I like this crimson looking one. Doesn't that uh, look cool? So I want to put it right next to here and also turn it on. That looks good, isn't it? And then oh, it seems like some of them is not happy though. I wonder why. Let's see. Oh oh, some of my customers started to play the arc arcade. Oh, I love it. Oh, but he's slightly unhappy. Let's see why. All the arcades are occupied. Oh no, oh no. Okay, we don't want that. So let me buy another one. Bananas. <laughs> don't know what that does, but it sounds pretty cool. And then also, these are all the power we have. So we can see that I only have 300 power left. So I probably want to buy more power cells. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> oh no, why some of them have a poop emoji on their head? Let's take a look. I need to go to the restroom. Okay. Well, I definitely don't want them to be pissed about uh, not able to go to the bathroom. Also, we need to hire some janitors. Oh, no, no, no. They're mechanics. Um, so let's pick the one with the least amount of month monthly cost. Make a great cup of tea. Okay, I love that. Loves nature and can fly a jumbo jet. <laughs> While simulator. Okay. Well, I, I like it. He has a decent humor sense. I will take that. So the mechanics will help us to fix the machine when it's broken, which is pretty handy. And then um, I think we will need, oh, we can buy decoration, food, and the drinks. We probably need to get them the restroom though. Where is the restroom? Ah, I find the restroom. It's in the utility section and it's pretty nice. We don't need to design the restroom. We can just build it and it's out of the box. And let's turn it on. Um, it seems like it will satisfy both men and women's needs. So that's pretty nice. Oh no, this customer is not happy too. I'm hungry. Okay, let's get him some food then. What do you want? Oh, we can have an ice cream or a food machine. Brain freeze. Okay, I like the sound of that. Uh, probably don't want to build our uh, restroom, our food stand right next to the restroom. So let's, uh, I also can't build it there. Oh, I could. It's, uh, it will block one of our machine. Um, I think maybe, let's see. Uh, maybe right next to the bathroom is okay. <laughs> I'm sure my customer will understand. Oh no. I think... I think my employee just, oh, <laughs> I saw he disappear. I was like, oh no, what happened? Please don't disappear. Okay, so I think so far so good. Except this one is not happy again. Where can I get a drink? Mm, ice cream is sort of drink, right? Okay, I guess we need to get then a little soda machine. Okay, soda machine can be, f um, I think it can be put here or there. Maybe right in this corner. Yes. Oh, look at that. I finally have a customer that, that went out with a happy face. I love that. Okay, so I'm looking at the other stuff we can do. And I check out this decoration. It's so cool. I love some of the some of the carpet we got. I think, I'm thinking I definitely want this arcade carpet. Oh no. So it only happens 
I, I thought once we bought it, the whole floor will be changed, but apparently not. So that's gonna take a lot more money for me to finish the whole arcade. So let's not spend too much on it. Oh, somebody's unhappy. Let's take a look. Or arcades are occupied. Okay. Let's make sure that they, they can get something else. They also get ping pong machine. That's so cool. Let's buy this thing called Danger Zone. I like that. So I want my own, like maybe ping pong machine section right, right here-ish. Let's see. Right next to the arcade machine. Oh, maybe people will like that. <laughs> I like how the mechanic was just fixing the machine by just banging on the machine. <laughs> That's how my grandma usually fix things. I need to go to restroom. Of course you could go to the restroom. I guess when restroom is occupied, then they can't go. Okay, let's see. We can also see how our employee feels. How do you feel, Peter? Peter, Peter Redding. <laughs> well, his happiness was really low. Why? Why is that, Peter? Um, hmm, I don't know. I'm trying to click on Peter. But he keep moving, and when we all, well, when I pause the game, I can't, can't access him. Um, not sure how to make Peter happy. Unfortunately, well, I started upgrading some of our places. For example, ATM, because a lot of the customers are complaining that they don't have their ATM. Well, now they start complaining that there's not enough uh, arcade machine. So we do have tons of different arcade machine and uh, all the gamblers look cool, doesn't it? I like this uh, teddy picker one. So let me just put it... I want something that they could play together though. Unfortunately, they can't. So I want to put this in the middle. I usually think it's pretty cool when they have uh, this giant machine in the middle that looks cool, isn't it? Lives per token. I'm not sure whether it's some of the difficulty or things that's adjustable. It would be nice if it is. And then, let me see, what other things we can do? <gasps> they also have a racing one. Okay, I don't think we could make a great arcade with a, without a racing game. Oh wow, racing game does take a lot of space though. So I wanna put it, let's see, right here-ish. I think that looks good. Okay, let's put a giant racing game for that, shall we? I think that should... Uh, that should make my customer happy now. Oh my, oh my god, I'm almost running out of money though. Okay, I need to be careful about buying more machines. Oh, I was looking through the decorations and look at this. We got a blue llama. Even though I'm, you know, I'm short on money, but who doesn't want a blue llama right next to its arcade machine? It's so cute. Oh my god, I have to have it. And I wanted the llama to be... Maybe right next here, mm, or just right next to <laughs> right right next to this uh this food center. Oh, it looks so cute. Uh, let's get closer. Oh, look at that! <laughs> I love it. I don't know how much the decoration plays in game, but so far my customers are pretty happy. Ninety four percent happy. That's pretty amazing. Mm, so far, I don't know how to advance to the next level to unlock some of the machines though. But I did, no did notice that now that we're getting more popular, some of my customers might get hungry. So I also want to build a food machine for them. It's not too expensive, plus it helps us making money. Look at that. Um, But it seems like we can also make ticket sale, shop sale, and asset sale. Mm, not sure how to do that yet. Maybe it's something that we can unlock later. Oh, this man seems a little bit unhappy. The ATM queue are so long. No, nobody want that. Where can I get a drink? Didn't you see this soda machine right here? This is where you can get the, get a drink. Huh, I noticed that the total customer is zero right now. Mm, it seems like the... I'm surprised. It seems like the total customer count here is a little bit wrong because I, I see people using it. Okay, I think I done most of the things that I could do for my customer and I noticed there's some marketing. So maybe I could do some marketing for my tiny little arcade. So I could uh, get them uh, buy one get one free. That's pretty good. Maybe they will finally start taking their friends to here. And then let's buy it and see how it happens. I'm not sure what's gonna 
what what will it did to us? Oh, but it seems like my customers are getting less happy. That's not good. Why aren't you happy? All the arcade are occupied. Okay, okay. That I can do. That I can solve for you right now. So to solve the problem, I got them a nice and fancy, super new arcade machine. Well, but it seems like now my our power might run low. But I, I'm hoping that with this new game, they will be happy with it. And hopefully making a lot of money. And hopefully, oh my god, our happiness keeps decreasing. I wonder why. Let's see. The arcade game is great. Okay, they're pretty happy with it. Oh no, oh no, he's not happy. Where can I get a drink? Um, it seems like sometimes when people is occupied with the drinking machine, um, they wouldn't be able to get the drink. So, you know what? Let's add more drinking machine right next to this food stand. So they can have more drinks. Um, so far, I found out the game gets a little bit repetitive after we finish all the, I don't know, the basic needs. I wonder if there's more things for us to unlock. Wouldn't that be nice? Yay, we managed to pull it off, off and made $10,000. I think I'm finally ready to purchase some new land. I'm not sure whether that will unlock stuff, but look at that. It's so huge. I love it. Well, we're left with very little money, but that's okay. That's okay. I love a big and open arcade machine. Oh, wow. Well, I love a big and open arcade shop. It's so nice. Oh, I remember when I was young, I love spending time here. Well, I still love spending time here. I think it's a perfect place to go right in front, right before the movie. And uh, I think one of the things I really, really love is the definitely the racing games. And then the claw machines. Well, I've never able to get this stuff out of the claw machines. Oh, they're so hard. I was always super jealous of the kid who gets like bunch of stuff from the claw machine. They're the lucky ones, aren't they? <laughs> oh gosh, I noticed this guy was just sitting here and eating food right next to the bathroom. What a weird guy. Well, so far, I think we're doing pretty, pretty good. And I'm ready to even do some decoration. How about... um, I want some rainbow-colored wall. Oh, that looks cool. I love it. So let's do a rainbow-colored wall. Like, just putting a bunch of color on the wall. On a wall, because why not? Oh, look, I love it. <laughs> well, so far, I don't know what does the... What what does the decoration do, though? But you know what? I, I just want a bunch of llamas. Because llamas are cool. Llamas are the best. Yes, let's put llamas here. Oh, wow. Doesn't that make our arcade place just look so cool and new? So, also, I want to put this... Uh, this new driving racing arcade machine right here. So far, I found out the... I think the ritual machines are still the most popular ones. I found people play them a lot. So let's maybe add more ritual machines. But our power management also need to be careful. But seems like buying the new games didn't open any of these new, new machines though. I wonder how can I... How can I unlock them? Also, here is some vendors and stalls that I wasn't able to unlock yet. Oh, oh my god, I didn't notice. So if we throw, scroll down, there's so many cute things we can put into our arcade. And there's colorful llamas everywhere. So I do want to put my llamas. So let's put this one. Oh, hmm, I'm surprised. I can't. Okay, so seems like this color llama, I could put it in. And let's put it, let's see, here. Llama is watching you. That's our theme right now. <laughs> the theme for our museum is, uh, well, our arcade is a llama. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love how many llama was just running around in our little arcade. It looks amazing. What else can we get? Okay, we can get a green gaming sofa. Okay, who doesn't want a little gaming sofa? I don't know how you're going to use that, but let me just put it right next to this uh, stand. So maybe somebody will sit down. And then there's a red telephone box. And uh, oh my god, a lion statue. There's so many cool statues. Okay, so let's get a lion statue. Because why not? Why not? We're, we're uh, an animal themed arcade game. I wonder why is that never a thing in real life. I would love to go on this kind of type of arcade game. 
Well, I think I had fun building my own arcade. It's an interesting concept, but it definitely needs more content for now. And since it's still in early access, I do understand that there will be more content added in the future. I, re I definitely look forward for the campaign mode and more challenges to be added. Cause right now, I think I almost just finished the content within less than an hour. Well, I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I play, I try it out simulation games and uh, play some of the long series if it, if I find the game fun. Thank you so so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.